Since Columbus discovered America, people of all nations, creeds, and colors have come to our country to find peace, security, and a place to build their dreams. Among the many who found such a haven was an eager immigrant named Luigi Bosco. I'm left to you in a little town of a Castellamare. I'm going to make a promise to write to you, so I'm a writer. In America, when a fellow to make a promise to write, that's called a promissory note. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia, tomorrow is going to be the biggest day and the most important day in my whole life because I'm going to down in town to take examination test for my first citizen of papers. Already I'm feeling more like American. Hey, you know something, Mr. Lincoln? I'm gonna remember when I'm a first to come here, how stupid I was. I'm used to walk on the street, ask somebody how to go someplace, and they used to say to me, get the lost. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm here on a short time, I'm gonna have to ask nobody. I get the lost all by myself. <laughs> My friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, Pasquale. Well, tomorrow's a big day for you. I'll listen and know. Oh, yeah, Pasquale. Tomorrow, tomorrow is no more uh, Luigi Basco, the immigrant. Tomorrow is going to be Luigi Basco, first citizen of Pepsi. <laughs> uh, I remember when he first come over and I planted you here in America. <laughs> and then every day I sprinkle you <laughs> with a love, with a kindness. <laughs> push you out in the sun, then you grow up, uh, and there you are, standing in a full bloom. <laughs> My own little cabbage push. Stop, <laughs> Pasquale, <laughs> you're making me blush. <laughs> oh, how much can I thank you, Pasquale, for bringing me to this wonderful America? It's nothing. <laughs> I do you a little favor, now you're going to do me a little favor. <laughs> Well, sure, Pasquale, what the little favor you want, I'm sure to do you. Marry my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> what do you say, my son? Go by pop. <laughs> no, Pasquale, there's no use of talking. I don't like your daughter, Rosa. She's, she's a too fat. Rosa's a no fat. She's a, a bubbly. <laughs> she's a too much a bub. <laughs> there's no use of talking as long as she's a weight 250 pounds. She's not had a dinner yet. <laughs> Excuse me now, Pasquale, please. I'm gonna go to my night to school. Now, oh, wait, wait. Luigi, please. Marry Rosa. Just once. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, Luigi, let's talk it over sensible, huh? Let's both take it easy. Calm down or relax. Is there no use of Pasquale? <laughs> Pasquale, put it on. That's Judge Washington. First the president of the United States in 1789. 1789. Maybe you reduce it to 1089, you're going to sell it. That's <laughs> why I'm a never sell the first the president of the United States to George Washington. I can't believe it. A customer. Oh, good evening, lady. Do you by any chance have a... That's just what I'm looking for. Oh, that's a nice... No, please, please, go by, lady. It's not for sale. Hey, pay no attention to this pop squeaker lady. Come with me, Luigi. No, please, please, Pasquale, please. Come on. I never sell it the pop of my country. Oh, come on. No, please. Here you are, lady. Statue of George Washington. That's the best one. This was given to him right after winning the Battle of Bull Run. <laughs> Lady, you know what is a very expensive. But I, I like it. There you got it. No. That's a store. Everything's for sale. Uh, Fifty dollars. I'll take it. My car's outside, so don't bother wrapping it. No, but please, the best. Oh, shut up, you maroon. Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, lady. I thought I should help you. Oh no, thank you very much. Okay, come again. <laughs> Luigi, you never should have sold that statue. <laughs> I never should have sold it. I'm not going to sell it to you, sell it to Sell it to your money. Well, bye bye, citizen of papers. What are you talking about? Bye bye, citizen of papers. Tomorrow you're going to come up in front of a judge. 
He's going to charge you with a violating the very big immigration act, the WPA. <laughs> the WPA? What the kind of law is that, sir? Washington, a peddled by an alien. <laughs> Well, what am I going to do? I'm a tenth to lose my citizen. Oh, poor Luigi. What is he going to do? Well, you still got one road. One road? Marry my daughter Rosa. That's in a road. That's the road blocker. <laughs> now, listen to me, Luigi. I'm going to lay my cards on the table, and I'm going to play in the canazza. <laughs> just one chance to marry Rosa, she's a citizen, that's to make you become one automatically. Well, Slotty, I'm no one to nobody to help me get my citizen of peppers. I'm the one to get on my own. You make enough of trouble already, now I'm going to go to my night school. Oh, go, go to your night school. You should have been very happy Rosa's a willing and waiting to marry you. That's like a marry in a piece of America. Well, maybe so, but when I'm going to get married, I'm no one to marry Texas. Goodbye. <laughs> Great. Huh. Turning down on my daughter Rosa for those school chumps. I'm gonna fix it so he don't get as a citizen of papers. Hoo -hoo, what a monkey I gonna drop into his wrench. <laughs> Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Horowitz? Present. Mr. Olsen? Present. Mr. Schultz? I'm here, but I didn't bring a present. <laughs> oh, dear fellow poopers. I am so lovable. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz. Now, class, today we're going to dispense with our regular lesson, and instead we're all going to help Mr. Basco, because tomorrow he's taking his test for his first citizenship papers. Oh, that's such a wonderful. Congratulations, <laughs> Luigi. By Jing and you are going to make a Jing then this is the scenario. <laughs> you get your first papers and, and soon you can vote. Yes, and when you get your second papers, you can vote twice. <laughs> Correction, Mr. Schultz, you can vote only once, that's civics. Correction, Miss Spalding, you can vote twice, that's politics. <laughs> <laughs> You have got nothing to worry about, as long as I am here to help you. Joy, I, I remember when I got my first paper. You, I knew every question. Mr. Olson, I shall oh, ask oh. the question. Now, Mr. Basco, how many houses does Congress have? Well, is it? Well, Mr. Basco, you seem stuck. Stuck? He is harpooned. <laughs> Mr. Horowitz, do you know the answer? I don't have to know it. I'm already a citizen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come now, Mr. Basco. You've studied. You know the answers. What's the trouble? It doesn't make no difference, Mr. Spalding. If I'm going to know the answers or not, I'm never going to get to my purpose. Then. Why not? Because, uh... I'm a solid judge of Washington today. Whoa! Oh. Well, ladies, come in and stop us while he's making me take the $50. Now he says that I'm a traitor because I'm a solid judge of Washington to the WPA. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, pay no attention to Mr. Pasquale. There's no truth in it at all. You mean, not truth, you mean, you, you mean Pasquale is making a fool of me? Well, yes, of course. And I'm going to get to my peppers? Yes, of course. You know, becoming a citizen is in the heart, and I'm uh, not worried about you. Oh, Miss, Miss Balding, I thank you, thank you so much, Miss Balding. And I thank you all of my friends. No, no, no. I'm a feel better already. No, no. I'm going to take it a few fifty dollars and give a party for everybody. No, no. Uh, Isn't that just like our little Venus schnitzel? 
Luigi, you take that money and put it in the bank. Well, uh, what? Your, that, that would be a shrewd move. That's an excellent idea. Mr. Basco, you take that $50 to the bank, and tomorrow when the judge sees that you've opened up a checking account, he'll be very pleased to see that you're such a substantial citizen. Oh, well, all right, I'm not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> that, Miss Mosey, what a brain she's got. <laughs> Luigi, tomorrow we'll all go to the courthouse with you to give you encouragement. Oh, no, because I said, smile, Luigi. Everything will be wonderful. <laughs> Just don't do what my cousin Wolfgang did when he got his first paper. What is it, Mr. Oh, he, he, he studied the, the names of the president. He studied the laws of the country. He studied everything you can think of. Still, he didn't pass. Why not, Mr. Schultz? He was so busy studying, he forgot to learn English. Uh -huh. <laughs> National Bank? Yes, yes. How am I likely to talk with Mr. Casey? <laughs> Mr. Casey's dead. Well, I wait. <laughs> <laughs> Is the Mrs. Casey here? Mrs. Casey's dead also. Everybody's dead. Who's to take care of the business? <laughs> Sir, this is a bank. Do you want to open an account here? Yes, please. I'd like to open up a check up account. Checking account. Good idea. How much would you like to start with? Oh, I'd like to start with a thousand dollars. That's a good round figure. But I'm going to get a fist to take. <laughs> no, that'll do. I'll give you an account to start. Here, the deposit slip, and here is your checkbook. Now, if you'll just give me the money. That's necessary. <laughs> well, yes. All right, all right but please, uh, first I'm going like to ask a little question. All right, what? Well, what do you do with this money? <laughs> well, it's ridiculous. We invest it. That's what we do. We invest it. <laughs> Where are you in the <laughs> What did you say? Where are you in the where do we invest? I ask you a question. <laughs> I think you better talk to the vice president. All right. Mr. Mr. Thurston, uh, would you help me out with a problem? All right, Parker, what is it? Well, there's a gentleman out here who would like to know what do we do with the money? What? That's a ridiculous question. I agree with you, sir, but... What do we do with the money? We invest it. <laughs> but where? Where? I asked you first. Uh, <laughs> I'll tend to this myself. Oh, how do you do, sir? Hello. Won't you come in? Uh, sure. I'm Mr. Thurston. I'm vice president of this bank. Oh, thanks so very much. I'm a Luigi Basco. Going to be citizen. Fine. Uh, sit down. Oh, thank you. Have a cigar? Oh, your wife is going to have a baby. Uh, no. <laughs> Someday. That's a good now, ordinarily, I don't tend to matters such as this, but I've always had a slogan. The small depositor of today is the big depositor of tomorrow. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Then I'm going to come back tomorrow. Oh, no. no. <laughs> now, you want to know what we do with our money. Well, I'll be very glad to let you know what we do with it. It's really very simple. I'm glad you simple. <laughs> Well, uh, first we pool all our deposits. That includes your money and everybody else's. On which we pay interest compounded annually, semi-annually, and quarterly, as the case may be. If our fiscal report shows a tremendous balance, we pay quarterly. In lighter years, we pay semi-annual. And in very rare years, through circumstances totally unforeseen, we're forced to make annual disbursements, as the case may be. Now, what do you think of that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> I'm not... Don't you understand anything I've told you? No. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I've been with the Case National Bank for ten years. And before that, I was the Security National Bank for five years. And before that, the Jefferson National Bank for three years. And before that, the First National Bank for two years. That's my professional record. What do you say to that? Is it too bad you couldn't hold a job? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm a very busy man. Do you or do you not want to open an account? Yes, yeah, so please, Mr. President, I'd like to open a check and open the account. Good. Well, all right. Oh, it's a nice, he's a nice man. I like you very much. <laughs> Can I tell you something, Peter? What is it? In the Chase family, is nobody left. I hope you get the business. What? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> well, now, uh, here's your checkbook. Oh, thank you very now, much. Now, uh, if you'll give me the $50, I'll open your account myself personally. Well, all right, but uh, first, uh, can I ask you a little question? Why, well, certainly anything. What are you going to do with this money? <laughs> I told you for the last time, no more credit. And stop eating the breadsticks. Look. What, what, what? Oh, Pascal, how you was trying to fool me, huh? What? You tried to scare me about my service in the papers. But I'm no worried no more, Pascal, because I'm a big businessman. I'm a... What? Have a cigar. <laughs> Uh, thanks, a bigger businessman, eh? Yeah, yeah, big, because, Pascal, I'm going to take the $50 deposit in the bank, and they give me a check with a 20 new checks. <laughs> and when the judge sees I'm a partner with the Casa National Bank, then he's going to think I'm a bigger businessman. That's going to make good impression. Uh -huh. All right, the go. Go on and make your impression. <laughs> I don't care if you... Oh, yes. You could make a very nice impression on the judge with a check. <laughs> Sit down, Luigi. Yeah, sure, Pascal. Here, have a breadstick. Oh, thank you, Pascal. Look, Luigi, you want to be a bigger businessman, eh? Suppose you write me out a check for a month's rent in advance. That's to make you a real big businessman. Have another bread. Oh, thank you, Pascal. Just the one. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. Sure, right. I'm going to write that. Good. Well, I'll give you the pen. Yeah, I'm going to need the pen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you check number one. <laughs> All right. Now, with the first time, put it on. You want it to Pascal? No, no, no. We fill that in later. Just put your name first. Oh, man, no, man, the manager told me first is it got to be the date. All right. The date. After the date. Your dinner, we've got to put it down there. How much? Ah. All right, that's uh, how much. And then, uh, Luigi Basco. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are, Mr. Tyler. I'm going to fill the rest in for you, eh? Oh, thank you, Pascal. Thank you very much. You're really, really, really a friend of Pascal. That's quite a, you, 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 you. You, you're not mad because I'm, I'm no one to marry your daughter? Right? Me? No! <laughs> and you're going to wish me good luck when I'm getting my first pepper? Sure, little banana nose, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Look, I want you to know something. No matter how much we fight, as far as you're concerned, i got a heart as big as a bologna. And for you, it's always a slice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Pascal, you're so right. You're so full of baloney. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I say it, does it come out of different? <laughs> What the heck, what's funny? What, what, what? Oh, what's the matter? You, you, you're not coming into the court with oh, me? Oh, I'm going to be there. I'll be there later. Yeah, you go on and have a nice time. Happy first to see the Oh, you thank you so it. much, Pascal. <laughs> Pascal, is it going to be the biggest day in my whole life for first to see the purpose? America, I love you. <laughs> I'm going to fix up with this check. <laughs> George James Mitchell. <laughs> Dear Judge, Your Majesty, <laughs> this is not a bribe. It's a... Hey, I just spell a present. P-R-E-Z-E-N-T. <laughs> like this, I wish I went to college too. <laughs> Ask me easy questions and spend the money in a good health that nobody knows. Luigi Bosco, 21 North Holstead Street. <laughs> hey, Joe. Yeah? You want to get a free meal? Oh, sure. All right. I'll tell you what you do. On the way to the pool room, you're going to pass the courthouse. Yeah. Huh? All right, I want you to take this and drop it off on a Judge Mitchell's desk. Now, don't let him see your face. I don't want him to think anything crooked is going on. <laughs> You'd do anything to get Luigi to marry Rosa, wouldn't you? Listen, the job, I'm not such a bad guy. 
But when somebody refuses to be my son-in-law, that's a bring an ejector out of my hive. <laughs> Just the last. And the luckiest. <laughs> Don't be nervous, Luigi. Everything is going to be all right. Oh, no, and you <laughs> look so good, Luigi. You look so good. Oh, that's good. And, and how he smells. Yeah. What is that, Luigi? One of them French perfumes? Evening in a pickle barrel? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Vasco, are you nervous? Come on, Mr. Please rise. Next applicant, please. Go ahead. That's you. He means him. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Judge. I'm, I'm very happy to be here, Judge. And I'm... I brought you a little present. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. And now your name, please. Hello, it's Basco, 21 North Hollister Street. So, you're Mr. Basco. Yeah, I got an antique shop. I'm a big businessman in our judge. I'm a deposit of money in the bank and today. I make out a check number one. Yes, I know that. Uh, oh, you do, huh? On the Case National Bank, I that's believe. That's right. You know everything about me. I right? certainly do. Well, that's nice. I'm glad. <laughs> well... Well, go ahead, then. Ask me the questions. That won't be necessary. Application for citizenship denied. Mom. Mom, mommy. Why don't you give him a chance? You didn't even ask him any questions. Well, keep quiet or you'll be asked to leave this courtroom. Don't you talk to me that way. <laughs> it's my parking ticket that's paying your salary. <laughs> Mark is incompetent and irrelevant. You are an incompetent elephant yourself. <laughs> quiet, quiet, please. I'm not asking Mr. Basco any questions because I don't think he'll ever make a decent citizen. Yeah. You don't think I'm. A, you got no right to talk to me like a doctor, Judge, because I'm a. I'm. I'm a. Excuse me, Judge. I'm. I'm a dinner minister. I'm. I'm always a try to be good a citizen, a judge. I'm, I'm always a try to obey the laws. When I'm come from Italy, first time I'm here, radio man is a stay, stay tuned to this station. Judge, you believe me, I'm here a long time. I'm never tuned into no other station. <laughs> the sign in the zoo is to say, please don't feed the monkeys of peanuts. Judge, you believe me, I'm never feed the monkeys of peanuts. I'm a throw my whole bag and I'm a feed them myself. <laughs> Mr. Basco, you have never broken a law. I'm a never but Never broken the... Yes, the Judge, I'm... I'm, a, I'm broken a one law. That was it today, Judge. I'm, I'm going to make a good impression on you, Judge, so I'm going to go in the little room to wash my hands and the face with a towel. Sign is to say, rub it on the blood. <laughs> is an honor student in my night school class. Uh, may I please speak to you for a few minutes? Very well, Miss Spalding, if you'll step into my chambers, please. I'd like to talk to you about this honor student of yours. There will be a five-minute recess. Luigi, don't worry. Everything is going to be Miss all right. Spalding, take care of it. Yeah, Everything will be fine. Please, 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 friends, I'm... What? Friends, I'm going to be all alone. Come on, Luigi. We'll be back no, soon. Yeah, we'll come, come back. back. No, no, no. Don't come back.
did you? I heard everything. Well, Granny, yes. As to the worst of them, my whole life, the judge is turning me down and out. Now, what, what am I going to do? It's a very simple. I bring you over here, judge is turning you down, now I've got to send you back. No, 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 I'm not want to go yes, back. No, see, yes, I see the story of your life in four words. Import, report, deport, export. <laughs> Yes, it's a baby. But marry my Rosa, become a citizen, then I can let you stay. Yeah, but a bus granny. No buts, and no buts. You've got a two choices, a yes or absolutely. <laughs> well? Oh, well, all right, then. I'm going to give up what else I'm going to do. I'm marry your daughter, Rosa. That's what I like, a fighter. I'm <laughs> <laughs> the blush in a bride. Rosa! <laughs> She's been waiting all her life for this minute, Luigi. Rosa! Oh, I'm gonna kiss you. Come here, boy. No, please. <laughs> Rosa! Hey, Rosa! <laughs> yes, my little cupid doll. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> well, the happy day is here. He said he's going to marry you. Please, soon you're going to be in Niagara Falls. Oh, <laughs> now, Tessman, all we got to do is help with his son. Don't worry about it. Here. <laughs> Luigi Bosco, step forward. <laughs> Mr. Basco, did you or did you not send me this check? Uh, just a minute, Judge, Your Majesty. Uh, don't pay no attention to the check. Is it going to become a citizen without you? Hey, Judge, uh, yeah, sure, that's my check. I'm, I'm going to give that to Pasquale today for the rent. Oh, I see. Don't, come with me, Luigi. Just follow. <laughs> How do you spell present? T-R-E-Z-E-N-T. You see, I went to college, too. And you are the one who wrote this letter. 30 days. Oh, but Judge! <laughs> Come here, baby. Look, Judge, I only do this because I want to marry my daughter Rosa to Luigi. That's all. Yeah, Judge, that's right, Judge. But Squall is not been meant to be bad. He's, a, he's not mean that. He's just a do because he wants me. I'm a to his daughter Rosa. Ain't that right, Rosa? Yes, that's true. Who are you? I'm his daughter. His daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Suspended. <laughs> thank you, Judge. Thank you. Well, I'm very happy that we've settled all this. Ah, oh, Judge, me too. I'm very happy. And uh, <laughs> now, Mr. Basco, I want you to be very calm, and I'm sure you can answer all the questions. Now, the first question is, what can you tell us about the flag? About a flag. Hello, it should be calm. Flag has got a three colors, a red, the white, and the blue. Has it got a 13 stripes? One stripe for each state. Has it got a 48 stars? Red is for courage, white is for truth, and, and the blue is for justice. That's fine. Now the second question. Name the three amendments the which came as a result of the duty to country and to love it to support the Constitution to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and to defend it against all enemies. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
included in tonight's cast were Porter Hall, Pierre Watkin, Hal March, Kay Wiley, and Jan Arvan. This is the CBS Television Network.